Okay, this is a short video showing the impact of various WAN impairments, in particular bandwidth limitations, um, latency or round trip time, and uh, loss on the throughput that you can achieve um, with a TCP session representing a backup or a replication. And uh, then we're going to show how Silver Peak um, functionality can be used to um, compensate for those various different WAN impairments and deliver LAN like performance over the wide area network. So what we have here up in the right hand um, top corner is a traffic generator. Um, below it we have the WAN emulator and underneath that we have uh, the destination system. Um, we have two Silver Peak appliances in line. Um, for the first half of the demo they're in monitor mode. Then I'm going to switch them into optimization mode in the second half. So let's get things uh, rolling here. We're going to start the uh, traffic off. Um, as you can see in the uh, graph here, the monitor graph, we are um, sending about um, 985, 990 uh, megabits per second. So this is uh, pretty much a full Ethernet link. There's a little bit of a gap due to IP and Ethernet overhead. Uh, but basically, um, our baseline here with no WAN impairments is a full gigabit worth of throughput. So let's introduce our first uh, WAN impairment. So we go into the WAN emulator here and uh, we're going to set the bandwidth to 155 megabits per second. This is um, representative of an OC3, um, which is a fairly big pipe, um, but commonly available um, for uh, large enterprises. So we've uh, introduced that bottleneck and we can see that the um, replication session is backing off and converging to a new rate. Um, if we hover over here, we can see it's about 140, 155 um, um, megabits per second. So basically, we're filling that um, OC3 pipe. Now, of course, in the real world, you don't get um, OC3 pipes um, with no latency. If you were going to get an OC3 pipe from uh, the east coast to the west coast of America, it's going to have a latency um, um, of the order of 50 to 100 milliseconds. So let's go into the WAN emulator and uh, enter in um, a latency value. So we're going to type in 50 here. This is a one-way um, delay. So the round trip delay is double that, 100 milliseconds. Um, and uh, let's see what that does to the throughput. Yes, we can see it's uh, dropping off there. I'll just bring my cursor over and we'll hover over this value. Um, we can see it's about 32, um, 33 um, megabits per second. So we've gone from a gigabit with no impairments to 155 when we introduced the bandwidth impairment. Now we've introduced latency and the uh, um, throughput's dropped off to 33 megabits per second. This is because TCP um, is very sensitive to latency and uh, can only have so much information outstanding without an acknowledgement. Um, the final thing we're going to do is introduce some loss. So loss um, is uh, very common in uh, shared packet networks like an MPLS network, even more common if you're um, going to create a VPN tunnel across the internet. Um, so let's see what loss does. Um, a common um, kind of loss rate is about 1%, so let's introduce a 1% loss. Okay, there we go. Uh, the rate is dropping down. It's uh, pretty hard to see on the graph. It looks like it's almost zero. Let's hover over that with our cursor and see what we've actually got there. Uh, let's see, 1.5 megabits per second, 1.3 megabits per second, 1.3 megabits per second, 1.3 megabits per second. So you can see um, that that loss has really cut down our throughput. So you can imagine um, this is somebody perhaps doing a backup. They bought an OC3 pipe. Um, yet, when they actually go and bring up that OC3 pipe and start using it, they can only achieve uh, one, one or two megabits per second of throughput because of the loss and latency on that pipe. So this is an ideal candidate for someone uh, to use a device like Silver Peak. Uh, Silver Peak has uh, three optimization techniques. We have network integrity, which will correct for the loss. If we just introduced that, we'd get back up to 30 megabits per second. We have network acceleration. Um, which compensates for latency, that would get us back up to 155 megabits per second. Then we have network memory that removes deduplication in data, deduplicates data on the fly. That would let us get up to um, 155 megabits per second. So uh, 
let's uh, just uh, stop the traffic here and we're going to switch the uh, Silver Peaks into optimization mode and uh, see that uh, indeed happen. Okay, we want to start uh, monitoring a tunnel and we want to bring our tunnel up. This enables optimization. Okay. Get our screens back. Okay, so we've let things settle there now. Um, we're going to kick off our um, our traffic again. This time, going through the Silver Peak Tunnel with optimization. Uh, we've left all of the wide impairments there. So, if you check here on the wide emulator, we've got 155 meg limit, 50 milliseconds latency one way, 100 milliseconds round trip, and 1% uh, loss. Okay, so here we go. So what we see here um, is that we are achieving about um, 130, 140 uh, megabits per second. So we're able to uh, pretty much fill that OC3 pipe despite the fact there's 1% loss and a very high latency. Um, in this case, we've got data that uh, we've never seen before. It's unique, it's uncompressible, um, and um, nothing can be done to deduplicate it. I'm gonna, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this session and I'm going to send data that we have seen before that we can deduplicate. Okay. Let's go. So you see here, in the case that we've seen the data before, um, the um, bandwidth has uh, shot up to 960, 940, 958 megabits per second. So essentially we're able to send at LAN rates across that OC3 pipe by deduplicating the data. Um, the, uh, the green line, uh, by the way, indicates the compression ratio that we're getting. So in this particular example, we're compressing the data by um, roughly 250 times uh, because it's something that we've seen before.